This pizza bar is ranked number one pizza in all of Asia Pacific and the fourth best pizza restaurant in the entire world. It also has an esteemed Bib Gourmand Award from the Michelin Guide. This is Pizza Bar on 38th in Tokyo, located on the 38th floor of the prestigious Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Nihonbashi. It's the fanciest and most expensive pizza I've ever eaten. The Pizza Bar offers an omakase, leave it up to the chef tasting menu, which features eight of their signature pizzas, including a dessert pizza. The chefs use all natural ingredients sourced from farmers across Japan, and the pizzas are prepared in front of you, which makes for an exciting dining experience. The first plate was the appetizer, a Japanese sweet potato puree with goat's cheese, wafer thin potato chips and chives. This was to highlight the local ingredients, freshness and flavor, and it was a delightful start. Then came the first pizza, drizzled with olive oil, topped with herbs and thinly sliced prosciutto. This was actually a bonus pizza and was not listed as part of the standard A course menu. Having such simple ingredients allowed the dough's flavor to really shine. And it was perfectly seasoned. A pet hate of mine is under seasoned dough. The next course showcased two classic pizzas, the marinara and the margarita. The marinara was topped with solania tomatoes, marjoram and garlic sourced from the Aomori prefecture. While the margarita featured buffalo mozzarella and fresh basil. These two pizzas looked amazing. The marinara was simple yet so rich in flavor. And I can honestly say that the margarita was the best I've ever had. It was crunchy, fluffy on the inside with no oily texture at all. I usually gauge the quality of a pizza restaurant based on their margarita, and I knew after tasting this, I was in for a treat. Next up was the Pizzino, a focaccia style pizza with mascarpone cheese, black olives, and a generous serving of shaved fresh truffle. Similar to the pizzas, the focaccia exterior was nice and crunchy, yet super soft and fluffy on the inside. And I just love anything with truffle. After the focaccia, the pizza degustation continued with the chef serving up two interesting pizzas. The first being a Japanese wild mushroom pizza topped with a generous serving of fresh mushrooms, parsley and Italian peppers. Alongside the mushroom pizzas, the chefs also served up a Japanese specialty, a cauliflower and uni sea urchin pizza. This pizza was also topped with thinly sliced almonds for added crunch. It was unusual, but full of flavor and a wonderful fusion of Western and Japanese cuisines. The pizza adventure continued with the restaurant's six cheese pizza and a calzone. The six cheeses consisted of provolone, gorgonzola, smoked scamorza, Taleggio and Parmesan cheese. It was served with a drizzle of truffle honey for a touch of sweetness. And oh my goodness, this was a fantastic pizza. The calzone was huge and it was cut into manageable sized slices for all the diners to share. It was filled with provolone, Italian greens, mozzarella, Parmigiano Reggiano, mortadella and ricotta cheeses. After feasting on all of these incredible pizzas, I was ready for dessert and it didn't disappoint. The chefs meticulously created a dessert masterpiece topped with Japanese pear, semi-dried persimmon, milk chocolate and buffalo yogurt. It was a work of art and such a unique take on a dessert pizza.
But dessert wasn't finished. The chefs had one last treat to share with us, a vanilla gelato, espresso, hazelnut biscotti and whipped cream. All in all, this pizza degustation was a fantastic experience. It was a unique way to sample so many varieties of pizzas from such award-winning chefs. My only comment is that it was quite an expensive meal, costing 16,100 yen per person, which is around 110 US dollars, and that's without drinks. So perhaps this dining experience should be saved for a special occasion. It's also worth noting that it was incredibly difficult to make a reservation as the bar only seats eight diners at a time with only two seatings a night. So it's advisable to make a reservation months in advance. But I think it was worth it just to try one of the best pizza restaurants in the entire world.